Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to draft your basic bodies. Now, the materials I'll be using to do this tutorial is my measuring tape, my marker, and my mini pattern master. Now, one thing you have to know before you start drafting is that you must know how to take your accurate body measurements. Because whatever you take will make or mar your work. It is from your basic bodies you cannot alter it to any style, any design of your choice. So the measurement I'll be making use of for this tutorial is my shoulder measurement. Arm hole, shoulder to bust, shoulder to under bust. Now this shoulder to under bust, not everybody likes to include it in their basic bodies draft. But I just like to include it. Shoulder to waist, shoulder to full length, and my nipple to nipple measurement. So let's proceed to the draft proper. Now, my shoulder measurements. My shoulder is 14.5 divided by 2 will give you 7.25. So you're going to mark that right here. 7.25. You mark it. Then here you mark your shoulder to arm. You mark your ammo measurement, which is 8.5. My ammo is 17 divided by 2 is 8.5. So you mark 8.5 here. My boss is 10.25. Under boss is 13 and half. Waist is 16 and half. And my full length is 22 plus seam allowance. Of, I usually add 20 to my seam allowance. So I'll mark 24. So I'm just going to repeat the same marks here. So that I can have a, a straight line at the end of the day. So I have my 8.5, 10.25, 13.5. Sixteen and a half and twenty-four. So I'll be using my straight rule to rule out the lines so you can see. Now, what I had on my shoulder is 7.25, so I'm going to take that same 7.25 down here and mark, so I can have a straight line to connect. So I use my ruler to connect, like this. So for my nat the natural neckline is 3, I'll be making use of 3, so you mark it. You come down here by one and a half. This is one and this is the half. You use a straight ruler to connect it to your natural neckline. Like this and like this for your shoulder slant. So whatever you have here, you divide it by two. You can do this using your ruler, using your tape. I mean, use your tape. Just do it like this, and you mark. You go in here by 0 0.75, 0 0.75, so you mark it. And then use your arm ruler to connect it. So this makes our ammo. So for the neckline, I will make it is um, um, three by three, depth of three and width of three. Because I don't want the neckline to be too tight, so I mark it like this and like this. This is my rule. 
to have a straight line so I'll just go ahead and mark my curve like this so that being done I'll move to my body measurements and then lastly I'll now take my dust so for my body measurements my bust divided by 4 is 8.6 I mark it here. This is my under bust. I won't be making use of it, so I'll just move to my waistline, which is my waist divided by four. It's seven point two five. So I'll mark it here seven point two five. And then for my blouse length, my blouse length, my round measurement is. 34 divided by 3 to give divided by 4 rather to give you 8.5 so I'll just mark it here and then use my rule to connect so what I have is something like this like this So I'll go ahead. So I'll go ahead now to make use of my nipple to nipple measure measurement. My nipple to nipple measurement is seven. If you divide that seven by two, you have three and a half. So I'm going to mark that three and a half all the way up, starting like this. This three and a half. Three and a half. So I use my straight ruler to connect to have a straight line. So on my waistline, I'll come up by zero point seven five on both sides. Then from my bust line, I'll come down by one inch. My full length line, I'll come down, I'll go up by one inch too. So this is where I'm going to be connecting like this. And I've gotten my waist that. So let me go ahead to label this. I, this is my chest line, my bust line, under bust line, my waist line, and my full length and seam allowance. Everything is here now. So on the bust point, I'll come down here by one inch. I hope you can see I'll come down here by one inch and I'll connect it to the boss point. This is my boss that so I've just um gotten my boss that and the next thing is to you can choose to add your seam allowance on the paper. Or you can choose to add it after you must have cut out your um, paper, place on fabric, and then you add your seam allowance. But basically, this is your basic body's draft. So let's go ahead to add the allowance so that for those of us that may be confused later. So here I'll go ahead. For the waistline, you have to mark what you have here. Here I have one and a half. 
this is my one and a half i have to replace this that i took on the waist before i can go ahead to do anything so like this i have replaced my that and this is it for the basic bodies for the front so let's go and add let's go and do for the back you see what? so now we're done for the front um part of the pattern paper like i said you can now since you have replaced our dart here you can choose to add your allowance on this paper or you can choose to add it on fabric so let's proceed to the back so i'm just going to extend these lines so that we can have so that we don't end up making use of all the paper So to extend my line, I'll do the same thing I did for the front. So I have my... This is 16 and a half. 24 is here. 13 and a half, 10.25, 8 and a half. Twenty-four for my full length, sixteen and a half for the waist, thirteen and a half, ten point two five, eight and a half. So for the back, I'm going to start by drawing a straight line here. I'll start by drawing a straight line. So I'll start my draft from here. So I still have this side of the paper. So I'll just connect these um, lines. So before you start drafting for your back, it is always important to start by taking your zipper that. And this is our waistline, so we're going to take our zipper that from this line. So to do that, on this straight line, on this straight line, I'll come in by two inches. Mark my two inches all the way. Okay, let me use 1.5. Let me use 1.5. So I'll mark my So I'll use my straight tool to connect this 1.5 down. So 
So, I've connected my 1.5 down. So, on the waistline, I'll go in and out by 0.75. 0.75 So I'll connect this here like this Now this is for a zipper that so I'll start my measurement from this line. So here I'll take my natural neckline of three. So for the back, so for the back, the back neck depth is not supposed to be too wide because of um rather too deep because of our zipper so having taken my zipper that i'm going to start my measurements from here I'm, i will no longer make use of this area i'll start my measurements from here so this is our natural neckline of three so i'll mark it and our shoulder is 7.25 Mark 7.25 on both areas and I have this. So I'm going to rule it. I'm going to be ruling it to have a straight line. This is a natural neckline of 3. So I come down here by 1 inch. That is half half and I connect it and I connect it to a neckline so for a neck depth for the back I won't be making use of um three inches because that will be too um deep it is always better for the front neckline to be deeper than that of the back. So I'm going to make use of one inch. I'll just come down by one inch. And I'll connect it to my three inches. And I'll do the same thing for the curve. You can just use your hand to curve it like this like this like this and then you want to cover like this and here you divide by two just where we did for the front so here you're going to come out by 0 0.25 0 0.25 not like the front where we went in by 0 0.75 here make it a 0 0.25 and then use your rule to connect like this remember to place it very well and then you curve like this so you are going to take your measurements Our boss divided by 4 will give you 8.6. So you place it like this, 8.6. You mark. Waist will give you 
place it like this you mark and then for full length we have 8.5 you place like this and you mark use your ruler to get a straight line so to get our bag that you divide your waist by two and you do what you mark you measure it from here to this first line you have four and a half So you begin to mark your four and a half. Then use your rule and connect to have your straight line. Here, if you notice something, we went. We have our dart line up to the chest line, whereas for the front, you just have it to the bust point. So you come down here by one inch. You do the same for the full length, one inch. Then the waist, you come out by 0 0.75 on both sides. And then you connect it. So this is basically it for your basic bodies. So you can choose to now uh, um, replace your dart the way we did for the front here. We replace our dart and then add your um, allowance on fabric. So let's just go ahead and replace it. That here we have one and a half. So you come out here by one and a half. And then you, you rule a straight line. Connecting here, here. So this is basically it for our basic bodies and our basic bodies draft is ready. As you can see, it was not difficult, it was quite simple. So follow this tutorial and do your own. Now don't forget to follow and to follow my channel and like our videos. Thank you.